Yes, I'm James Cottrell. I'm the head of marine projects at Milkor UAE, uh, running our marine division 100% based in the United Arab Emirates. This is our, our yard based in, in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. We do all our manufacturing, research and development, prototyping and system integration here. We focus on ships for maritime security operations, especially police force and coast guard, but also Navy. We can do vessels up to, up to 35 meters in length here in both aluminum and composite. We have access to a channel here where we can do hat and sat as well as system testing and it really allows us to ensure that all of our products are up to the highest standard of quality. So all of our vessels that are for testing, demonstration and system integration purposes are stationed here as well as our engineering team and obviously our production team as well. As you can see behind me there's the Milkor Commander. This is a 16 meter vessel designed to be a multi-purpose maritime security vessel ideal for police forces and for coast guards around the world. Uh, we have several other projects that we're working on as well, as well as a, uh, a 30 meter long interceptor designed to increase situational awareness and maritime security, and also a line of Milkor Ripper rigid inflatable boats. The Milkor Commander is designed for maritime security. It's designed for applications such as anti-piracy, anti-smuggling, customs enforcement, border security, anti-illegal fishing, anything uh, that would fall under the jurisdiction of a coast guard or the maritime police. And for that, in that role, it's designed to have greater capabilities than other comparable vessels that are of, of a similar size. The commander is designed with excellent sea keeping capabilities to enable it to overcome their challenges and operate in, under weather conditions that would not be possible for other vessels of a similar size. Flexibility is also a, a large one. I gave a very long list of different threats that will come from the maritime domain. It is very difficult to get just one vessel that can do all of those roles, but we think that in Commander we have something that can apply to a very great many of them. We have a wide variety of payloads that we can integrate, uh, including both weapon systems and sensors, and we have a very flexible internal layout that will suit different concept of operations and different mission parameters. Here I am at the business end of the Milko Commander with two Hamilton HJ403 water jets, coupled to two Volvo D13 1000 horsepower engines. This gives the Milkor Commander excellent control authority at low speeds, enabling easy maneuverability, as well as excellent high speed cruise performance with maximum speeds up to, 30, uh, up to 45 knots and a range of 500 nautical miles while cruising at 30 knots. Here I'm on the aft deck of the Commander, just above the machinery space, where we have paid particular attention to some of the most important aspects uh, of naval vessels, namely operational readiness and maintainability. We have a total of five different hatches, enabling easy access to the, to the engines, the water jets and the generators as well, as well as being able to remove any equipment from the machinery space without having to cut the deck at all. This gives great operational flexibility and makes ma maintenance very, very easy and very cost effective as well. Here I'm on the roof of the commander, next to the commander's mast, where we have really paid a lot of attention to allow for the integration of a wide variety of payloads. Rather than just a single radar, radar and a single camera, we can fit radar plus two other optical payloads, which will be both a conventional EOIR gimbal and a 360 degree thermal camera. We've paid a lot of attention to flexibility with plenty of access panels to enable almost any payload to be integrated and multiples as well. In addition, the roof can accommodate other payloads such as remote control weapon stations to enable great operational flexibility. Every Navy, Coast Guard or police force is gonna have their own concept of operations in terms of how they coordinate their forces. Uh, so we'll work with any of the end users in integrating the Milko Commander into that force structure, including fitting the correct C4I systems as well as ISR to make sure that they get the best possible capability out of our system. My name is Wesley Detoy. I'm the Head of Operations at Milko UAE, based in Abu Dhabi. Uh, this is our uh, naval shipyard and uh, HQ for our uh, marine operations. As a locally based company in the UAE, IDEX is the biggest event on the calendar for us. It gives us a chance to showcase current and future capabilities and forge local partnerships with um, defense manufacturers in the region. Local systems that can enhance our capabilities and improve our uh, manufacturing process as well.
We have a, a few partnerships we'll be um, showcasing next week, specifically with the Commander. So um, technology that we'll be integrating into our naval system. You can uh, look out for that on uh, Army Recognition's platform next week. IDEX and NAVDEX being a local event, our long-term strategy is to establish ourselves as a leading partner in the defense industry in the UAE. Um, our goal is to ensure that we consistently have local collaboration, local partnerships, and at an event like this, it gives us a real chance to, to work with local manufacturers and local businesses to promote the industry here.